Hello everyone, I am Kelly of Gaming and welcome back to another well uh, F1 2019 career mode. This is episode 9 and we are going to the circuit, the Paul Ricard, in Le Castellet, France. And uh, it's actually, I hate this circuit to be honest. It's, there's too much, too much tarmac. Uh, that runoff area is pretty much, you can make another circuit around the runoff area and it's totally fine. So I really hate it. So uh, yeah, before this video begins, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, this week we will uh, change some of our components. Uh, ICE will have the third one already. It's only the eighth uh, Grand Prix in, yeah. And then we'll have like control uh, MGH, I think, and another one. So, yeah, qualifying. Let's go. Welcome to qualifying for this weekend's French Grand Prix. The teams are making their last minute adjustments before the lights go green and the fight for pole position gets underway. The competition is certainly heating up as we head into today's qualifying. Some impressive times showing up during the previous practice sessions. Anthony Davidson, do you think we can expect a similar level of skill to be showcased during today's qualifier? Well, I certainly hope so. The competition here is extremely tight and I think we might see some very close times today. Remember, practice isn't just about fastest lap times though, it's about optimization, it's about ratifying your decisions. No one's going to be sweating small mistakes here and there, but in qualifying that all changes. You need to nail that perfect lap or face the consequences and believe me, that's a lot of pressure. So I'm gonna bring you a hot lap of the circuit Paul Ricard here in the France, Le Castellet, and a setup of I'm gonna have a little bit lower uh, rear wing, and uh, just to get that maximum speed in the back straight. So, uh, you're yeah. pushing too hard, it's causing your gearbox to and, take uh, actually, increased wear. I forgot to change my gearbox, but that's fine. Uh, actually, uh, and uh, the difficulty is still an 85, reminder. But something happened later of this episode, might as well you have seen the title. Um, yeah, I got the podium, which is crazy, and, uh, Spoiler, um, I'm, I think I'll change to 90 next episode, just to get, just to have some more reality, because Toro Rosso is beating Red Bull somehow, a Toro Rosso, crazy stuff. So uh, let's talk about that, this hot lap, down to this section, uh, really twisty, right and then left, and then another right, kind of like a hairpin thing, but it's not really, and then now going do the back straight need to wide open here and then a quick left to turn that's turn seven DRS open eighth gear and we are up, at, up to about 335 miles per hour uh, kilometers per hour down 100 uh, meter braking ball right there and then get into there with third gear and as we head out now out of that chicane um, Fast right hander, turn 10, and uh, you're gonna break actually very late. Don't care about those if you're using racing uh, those lines, don't care. It. It's, it's not accurate. Just saying, you can break very deep and very late in that turn. Uh, you need to show some commitment through that corner. And now to turn, I don't know what this turn is. But, now last corner, turn 15 or 16, not sure. And uh, DRS wide open, and uh, we cross the line, and we got pulled. Three, three, You've just three. the fastest lap. Good job. Q1. Okay, only Q1. So I'm actually surprised. Actually surprised. 
So, um, yeah. That is actually quite a good lap. So, uh, I think that time, I think, I don't need to go for a no lap. Let's just put, let's just switch that gearbox. And I actually did switch. Our best lap so and, far uh, is uh, actually, that is quite a good lap, to be fair. And, uh, yeah, that takes us 12 minutes. And, uh, we don't have another run, basically. We can't, uh, basically kill our Q1, but that's all right. And uh, we'll have a five grace, uh, f five place grid penalty, because I just, you know what? I just combined grid and place, so that grace, okay? That that's just dumb. But um, yeah, five place grid penalty, and uh, yeah. So actually, Q1 ended, and we're P4. Alex Albon just managed to get into Q2. So um, seems like I'm just, I am just so crazy. Seems like, and uh, yeah, maybe not sure. Now Q2, first run, going for the medium tires. Of course, these don't have that grip, and I'm just trying to see if I can. Make, uh, make some strategies work. Strategies. Um, so yeah, let's hopefully this will be a good lap. Across the line, it will be a fast lap, the going fastest lap so far. Well um, But actually, at the end, because I need to go for a second run, it's only P10. Just it's 30 seconds that. left in the session. Just barely getting into Q3. I don't like that, so I just go for another run. And, uh, yeah, basically. And, uh, a little bit wide here, but that's alright. Uh, going through now, turn six. Turn six here. And then now that sweeping left hander, turn seven. We've got a purple first sector, that's crazy. DRS open, wide open, and now you just climb up to about 3.35 kilometers per hour, breaking a 100 meter board, fourth gear into a turn, third gear, next turn T9, and uh, yeah, that's pretty good, so far so good, and uh, green sector 2, not bad, because actually our engine is lacking a bit, uh, as you may know, uh, Honda needs some work, but yeah, over time I think we'll do well. Um, still green, awesome. I think I'm like, yeah, I'm near, yeah, I'm nearly a second now, a second up of that medium tire time. That's crazy. A second up. Now last quarter and run up to line DRS open. And that is going to be P2, I think. Yes, Q2 in P2, that's crazy. That's like a 32.9, I think. And uh, yeah, pretty much. And, and that's quite astonishing, to be fair. And uh, actually, Albon gets into Q3, surprisingly. Um, never thought he had that pace, but um, yeah, let's get in to Q3. So, first run. Um, actually, actually, this is our only run. Because this run, after this run, I think I pretty much got all of the cars thing. Pretty much all. I uh, can't extract more. So I just abandoned the second run. And just sit out in the garage. And actually, this one that moment of time is the fastest lap even faster than Sebastian Vettel 132.9 I said qualifying finished five. it's time to remind ourselves and of our top three Bottas, at the Vettel, end and Lewis we got Hamilton. P4 32.5 32.5 so that's why I be sure to, to join us then for what will get no doubt be a fantastic race because I think I feeling my I'm feeling myself improving actually these these few months driving I racing those endurance races and uh, F1 2019 also that, that really helps me to improve my driving and uh, yeah we got 
this. How's your grid penalty going to affect so, yeah. your strategy going into the race? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Spanner in the works. I don't know. Great. Well, that's Flip everything. Flip you. So, yeah. That is Claire there doing his usual, doing her usual job. And, uh, of course, awesome, right? I'm not sure, but yeah, that's P4. So, of course, it's pretty good. Let's see. Of course, we have that five grace, five place grip penalty. I say that again. I'm dumb. Five place grip penalty um, towards the race. And we're starting, should be P9. So, yeah. Uh, we got some resource points, which I am going to spend later on. And actually, we have, yeah, I haven't talked about it. We got, like, uh, I think it's chassis upgrade, so that's awesome. So, unfortunately, we've picked up some grid penalties, and we'll be starting further back than you expect. As for how bad it is, that'll depend on what the other drivers get. So, uh, yeah, of course. So, um, I think there's nothing to watch it. Um, uh, actually, uh, this weekend will be the next contract negotiation. So, yeah, I'm look forward to that. And uh, yeah, let's get into the race. Hopefully, we will have a great one. And uh, yeah. Welcome to Le Castellet as we return from across the Atlantic for the 2019 French Grand Prix. Reintroduced to the Formula One calendar just last year after an absence of almost three decades. The circuit Paul Ricard, where racing legends such as Alain Prost gave us some turn one excitement before Valtteri Bottas and Sebastian Vettel and a commanding victory from Lewis Hamilton gave us a brilliant race last year. What, I wonder, will it have in store for us this season? The circuit Paul Ricard then, a 3.6 mile track, 25 miles east of Marseille. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, with the main overtaking chance expected going into turn 8. Top speeds today should be around 205 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here today, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you, so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Pierre Gasly and Leclerc. Weber, Perez, Carter, they've taken a grid penalty. And Alexander Albon, Stroll, Raikkonen, Nico Hülkenberg, and Grosjean. Butler, Ricardo, Lando Norris, and Kevin Magnussen. Kubica and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. places as there will be faster cars around you actually i think have i have pace jeff so uh don't need to worry about that so here he goes for the race french grand prix and uh we have a big change in the uh the strategy i'll call it um Actually, it takes me about two minutes to fix to really think of my strategy here. I would like to uh, get a hard in and uh, two soft tires and into a hard. But um, actually, I didn't really change my idea. I just put them 
hard tires into stint two and then my soft tires into stint three so yeah uh this race is going to be a two stop we still don't have those tire wear upgrades our chassis is lacking a bit um uh, so yeah we need to focus on chassis and engine aero wise pretty decent so um we need to focus these two departments more and durability um actually i've upgraded quite a fair bit of durability so that's what we can do um thought about it uh, we're gonna go for 28 laps of fuel of course but i'm again changing my um uh changing my mine and uh, made it up to uh no actually i haven't need to change it to hard tires mate hard tires yeah hard tires there it goes and uh, actually there will be a one drop of rain but uh at this point of moment this point of the moment uh i haven't think of it i haven't thought of it um because i think it's just one drop it's not gonna affect me i don't i won't get into inters yeah so here five red lights in french grand prix and away we go for the french grand prix here Perez up in front we got a okay it's better than usual start and uh, we're down turn one uh, we got uh, touched by the awful Stroll Daddy Racing Team. Lance Stroll here. Awful, awful. I know you have money, but you don't need to do that right. Just joking, just joking. Um, so yeah, uh, we're down to P11 after that touching. Um, but. Thing we can get strong very soon although i know racing point traditionally or as known as force india as no uh it is a very powerful engine car because of course a mercedes at the back of the car um oh, i can't do much but um yeah it's a very powerful car so let's see what we can do so first lap um, going out to turn 10, that was, I think, a uh, closing to stroll. Uh, first lap, I don't feel like I have pace. Actually, I don't. Um, feels, uh, no confidence in braking. Um, the car actually handles, uh, weird. Was okay. now stay so, yeah, that, that's my lap one feeling. I we're gonna dive down the inside here, last turn of lap one, and I'm just forcing him out. And uh, yeah, we'll get that place back, P10, back two. So yeah, that's awesome. And uh, now lap two, what are we gonna do here? Not sure. But yeah. So, now lap four. Right behind Albon here. Right behind him. And uh, let's see what we can do. Albon looking a bit vulnerable here. As we've got the DRS. Now closing him. Right behind him. In, uh, closing and closing, closing. He goes defensive by dive down the inside. And that is job done. And we're right behind Webb. Weaver, Lucas Weaver, Weaver, Weaver. Okay, I'm dumb. Waver, Lucas Waver. So uh, yeah, let's take another look at this shot here. And uh, he just absolutely killed my teammate. And uh, yeah, that's us up to P9 and him down to P10. So uh, yeah, we're, we're back where we started. And now lap five, we're gonna go into the pit lane. And uh, yeah, to have the first stop because this these soft tires just wear out very fast a very hard tire deck circuit actually to me as uh Kimi Raikkonen out of this Grand Prix not sure why but um yeah I can't do much in the pits so uh, yeah Complete set of hard tires 
and uh, yeah. So let's see what we can do. Okay, Consistency. Not fast. I can't do fast as that. These guys can't. These guys are just hard tires. Aren't aren't that kind of thing. I run wide here. Run a bit wide there. So uh, yeah. Now lap seven as uh, we close this up to Kibitza, not yet for a move, it's quite far still, to about two seconds, three seconds. Uh, someone, uh, Albon petted, um, so yeah, Albon is now behind me, and uh, hopefully you can do something with him. Uh, of course, actually no, I don't really want to do anything with him. Now, lap nine, I think, a uh, right, behind Kubica. The Williams have absolutely no pace, that's for sure. The car ahead is losing two seconds. I'm up to you. Two Good seconds. Job. Crazy. So yeah. Um, we overtake Kubica and as well as uh, there's a, quite a bit of people in the pit uh, for soft tyres or for some tyres, I'm not sure. But yeah, so uh, we gain quite a bit. Right, now, as you can right see, a little bit being. of rain starts dropping down. That's the one drop I mentioned. As we are uh, trying to make a move on Hamilton here, uh, the five-time world champion, was we going to dive down the outside? And uh, that is a job well done for me. Let's take another look uh, on it. Let's see what we... Uh, let's see how we have done it. We just... just just squeezed through Hamilton and Russell there out of that gap and uh, we just made it done absolutely crazy stuff so oh, lap 30 as you can see DRS. DRS is now it's disabled. treacherous conditions a DRS is even disabled so uh, yeah we need to get into the pits for a set of intermediate tyres uh, we just can't drive in these conditions with hard tired. No, we can't. And, uh, yeah, a lot of them spinning. So, uh, crazy stuff. Uh, we got clean pit lane. So, yeah, that's alright. And we have no stall this time. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, we're P12 right now. Okay, behind Ricardo. And actually, we're behind Perez who has uh, made that stop one lap earlier. So, uh, yeah, and uh, again, ran wide, very wide in this time in D on track. So, uh, yeah, now lap 15, closing up to Ricardo. Maybe that's a little bit of contact, not sure. But uh, this stretch is weather. It's awful, awful drive. And uh, we're, we're touching, we're touching. And uh, not a, not for a move there, not for a move. But Ricardo's just just right in front of us, and I think we're gonna move. Yep, start finish straight, right outside, around the outside, trying to get that move done. Leaving plenty of space there, but we uh, actually compromised our exit there. But uh, that's all right. That's not too bad. So uh, yeah, let's get another angle from that of a camera shot from tr outside the track as uh, so we can see side by side and actually they pushed him wide there and compromised his exit and I think Hamilton uh, got him there now lap I'm not sure 18 maybe somewhere there and the Perez is just the right in front of that is available on the MFT. and uh, we are going to, uh, medium tires actually so we're not gonna go for that soft tires we actually got a little bit touching to Paris but uh, actually made the move done there yes there he goes move is done look at another camera angle as uh, yeah side by side as um, that's pretty good racing to be fair not bad not bad so, now, lap, the, actually, about DRS half a minute uh, DRS is now later than that, uh, we're going to pit for that medium tyre, of course. I will run a little bit wide here, but that's alright. 
So we're going to come in for a set of medium tyres. Hopefully that will work. And actually the teammate Alexander is in, in the pits. Pit. Alexander in the pits. So uh, we're going to have a double sack here. Oh, great. Go, go, go. But that is a very quick pit stop from Toro Rosso. Those pit crews training all day and there he goes paid off stop. hard no work pit stops. so now we're uh, p10 that is not bad let's see what we can do from this point on so uh, yeah so now lap 21 or i'm not sure 24 i think as we got drs here we're closing in, gaining, gaining on Vettel, uh, not Vettel, Jesus Christ, Leclerc. Now we round the outside and push him onto the curbs. We've got a little bit of oversteer here. We cut off the track. That's a bit of a uh, not great racing there. But he comes back. Leclerc comes back. We're going to give him room here onto the curbs. Side by side into turn 11, I think. There it goes, we got the position. We're up to P... I'm not sure. As you can see, side by side for turn 10. And uh, I've just... I'm just being brave. Just being brave. I just got that position. Now, lap 24. A little bit uh, later, that lap. As actually a lot of people just pit. Not sure why. No, actually... Yellow flag. Not this lap. It's just Bottas retired. I think that's a mechanical issue for him. So that's sad. Very sad. Now, I think it is this that. It is this that. Somehow, there's a lot of people going into the pits for no reason. I'm not sure. No idea why the AI are doing that. And we've just gone into P1. Yeah, P1. Awesome. You're in the top 10 now. Keep it up. P1. And this, at this moment, I am absolutely uh, enchanted, I'll say. I'll say is coming in for a stop. crazy stuff. And uh, I'm just thinking, how can I protect this place? Now, now, lap 27, last lap. Using everything I can, I have nothing left, actually. A rich film mixture overtake mode. And just metal's just too fast. Can't overtake okay, him. Tried to, Try to dive down. No, just not. Not uh, close enough. And uh, try to get his slipstream here. I need to get his slipstream. And not to do, do something. We're gaining and gaining. But we do we have the. No, we just don't have it. He closed the door, Vettel. You just closed the door, and uh, we can't do much from this point on. You can't really overtake this part of the circuit, and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But that's very good. P2, Vettel snatches, just bur racing burglar 2.0. Well, anyways, P2, okay, job, crazy really stuff. Well done. That was a fantastic drive. Crazy stuff, P2. So yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Ferrari have really pulled it out of the bag today. It's a great win. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there.
Let's have a quick look at how the driver standings have changed. This result narrows the gap between our championship leader and the rest of the standings. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Well, it's got to be Kevin Magnussen. He displayed exceptional skill out on the track today and wasn't afraid to fight his way through the pack. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari take the lead at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Devon did much better in today's race than he did in qualifying. Were you expecting that? You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Everything went your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Appreciate your time. So yeah, that is today's episode. Hope you guys fully enjoy. To be honest, it is a very, very good race. As we nearly get it done, but of course we're in a Toro Rosso, we're not Sebastian Vettel. So you can't do that 2008 Italian Grand Prix thing. So yeah, we got some resource points we can use and uh, rep increasing awesome job but before result. that we, we really are well. going to have, have some contract renegotiation and uh yeah we're gonna step it up we're gonna off we are going to uh try and get some good stuff here 10th 10th and uh we, we, we need those perks we definitely need those perks and uh yeah, we just need those perks, mate. So... Yeah. Are we gonna get... Maybe level 1 on simultaneous development? Uh, probably. And... Uh, yeah. That okay, is that actually a very good, good. Uh, it seems negotiation. The deal. So it'll commence at the next race weekend. Um, so, uh, yeah. So now, going to the chassis side. I think, I'm not sure. I'm probably going for the engine, actually. We're going to go for that cylinder thing. Yeah, we're going to purchase that. And the next one will not be chassis actually will be durability side and we're gonna upgrade i think the ice so upgrading all ices to a maximum and uh yeah so yeah that is today's episode oh you guys fully enjoy smash a like and don't forget to subscribe to show me some, some support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.